Hi all. Let us see how to set up expressions in precedence constraints in SSIS package. First of all, what is expressions we'll talk about? So expressions are the one which will help us to provide a dynamic behavior to the SSIS packages. I can set up the expressions at the precedence constraint level. I can set up the expressions at the task level, container level to the variables. And I can write the complex expressions as well to provide a dynamic behavior to the SSIS packages or to tasks or containers in the SSIS packages. So let me show you practically how to set up expressions in the precedence constraints. So let me take you to the SQL Server data tools. So this is the package so which is having execute SQL task and script task. So I defined a variable. Let me show you the variable name as well. I defined a variable with the name of EMP count. It is of integer type and the value is zero initially. Okay. So now let me tell you what is there in the execute SQL task. So in the execute SQL task, so I have a condition. I have a, a connection string and I have a simple query. So which is giving count of the employees select count of one as EMP count from human resources. Okay, so let me remove this where one equal to two. I'll show you first. Okay, let me click on. Okay, so this query gives the number of employees in the particular table. So I am taking this number of employees into the variable of EMP count. Okay, so and I made a small change here is a single row here to capture that value. Let's click on okay. And so in the script task, so it's a simple query, the simple uh, code I written there. So I'm keeping as read and write variables as user EMP count. Click on edit script. So in the edit script, so I, I kept a one message box to display the number of employees in the system. It is a very basic uh, code piece. Message box will show number of employees. So plus DTS of user EMP count that value dot toasting. So this statement which will help me to know how many number of employees in the system. Okay. So let me close this. Let me click on OK. Okay. So now let me run this. So this is till now I did not implement a expressions on the top of precedence constraint. Let me run it. Yeah. So by looking at this message box, you will be understanding the number of employees in the system is 290. Okay. So let me click on OK. Let me stop this execution. Okay. So now let me implement expression on the precedence constraint. How to implement? Select the precedence constraint. Double click on it. So once you double click on the precedence constraint, so you will be getting this window. So by default, evaluation operation is constraint. Value is success. So let me change it to expression. So once I change it to expression, this expression is going to be enabled and the value is going to be disabled. So what is the expression I wrote here? So if the employee count is greater than zero, then only I am planning to go to the next task. If the employee count is zero or less than zero, so it won't go to the next task. So let me test it. I can I have a facility to test the expression as well. Expression validated successfully. So once you are done with the expression is simply what is the expression I wrote. So how to write. So just click on the browse button. Yeah, you have a place to write here to check the syntactical errors and to evaluate the expression. You can simply click on expressions. Okay, let's click on. Okay, let's click on. Okay, so now so in this example, I have enabled the means I have set up the expressions on the precedence constraints. So in the uh, positive scenario, I have 290 employees, but obviously so 290 employees are there. It, it, it gives a true value and it goes to it goes to the script task to display the number of employees. Let me run it. Yeah, number of employees is 290 because it's a positive case. Now, so let me uh, change the query here to get the zero employees. Yeah, so let me put a, let me change a small one, one equal to two. So if I run this query, I'll be getting the number of employees are zero. So then obviously my second task should not execute. So that is my scenario. Let's click on OK, click on OK. So now as my expectation is 
so this shot this task should not execute let me run this yes so if you see this task is not executed because of this precedence constraint so this is how we set up the expressions in the precedence constraints so let me repeat how to set up again the precedence constraints select the precedence constraint double click on it so here by default is constraint let's make it as expression and write the expression here and click on okay so this is how we set up the expressions so with the help of the expressions you can give the dynamic behavior to the ssis package thank you for watching so please like and share our videos please subscribe thank you